Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. If you guys have a Chevy Cruze or Chevy Sonic guys and you're trying to replace water pump, this is the correct video for you. Stay with us guys and we'll show you what needs to be done. In the meantime guys, we'll have more than 200 videos on this car and this engine alone. So please subscribe. Our goal guys is to save you as much money as we can. Now, we guys have, as I said, more than 200 videos and all the tools and parts usually could be found in the description of our video and see where we get uh, all our parts from. We just started a new channel, so please check it out guys. Quite a few videos coming on this engine and car as well. So if you need help with anything, okay, check it out as well. Now, you're going to see that we have the engine mount removed, the air filter box out of the way, the intake, you do not need to remove it, but you need to remove the air filter box stay with us we'll cover all that when we'll need to drain the coolant as well and then we'll get to the water pump now we'll show you what needs to be done to drain the coolant we'll have a, a procedure for bleeding the cooling system later as well make sure you check it out on the channel so for draining the coolant guys i would recommend to have the car engine really cold so leave it overnight okay to make sure that the coolant the engine is cold also uh, you want to okay open that cap before you start a little bit to okay open it all the way for a little bit to get the pressure out of the system if there is any pressure because if the system is under pressure and if it's hot coolant it can severely burn you and cause cause really bad injury so let's go ahead and start on it now so i'm going under the car now we're going to need a torx 20 star looking bit okay and you can see guys okay this cover here now Okay, this is the cover for the bumper. Okay, and if we come all the way here, okay, there is one bolt. Once I remove it, guys, I'll be able to show you where exactly it is. One screw. Now we have one more here. One more next to it. Okay, these two, you don't need to get them. Check it out. Now, these two are a separate thing. Then we need to get this one here. One more on this side. And then, guys, I need to go on this side. Okay, this is the passenger side of the vehicle. Okay, and we have one more guy holding in the corner, right there. Okay, so, let me see. Okay, what else is holding here now? If we have anything else holding. Okay, now we do guys, you pull back, okay, and you pull it out, okay. You can see just like that. Now you can see your radiators here as well, the condenser, all that is here. Okay guys, so now we are on the passenger side of the vehicle and if we come underneath, okay, you can see that white thing there, this is your radiator, okay, drain plug. So, okay, let me get him here, what we have to do, grab this guy. Okay, wear gloves, always. We have a bucket underneath, ready to catch it. Okay, it's going everywhere now. So as you can see guys, I removed the whole plug now. Uh, I'll let it drain like that for a little bit. Okay, you can see it acts like it's not getting enough air in the system. So what we can do, okay, we can go on top and we can release, okay, the cap right here. Okay, 
Okay, and it's going to go really, really big time. So let's get one person to remove this cap. Okay, and while we're removing it, I'm going to adjust the bucket to make sure that we catch everything. Okay, let's put the cap back on. Because it's flying everywhere. Okay, so we'll just let it stay like that, slowly coming out. Okay, check it out now. It's coming real nice. So, perfect. We will let it drain, guys, like that for probably about five minutes to make sure everything comes out. Okay, you can see it decreased now. And we'll continue with the next step. All we have to do now, guys, okay, we're ready to continue. We can go ahead and install our drain plug. Always use gloves, guys, when you're touching coolant. Don't ask why I don't use it, but it's very poisonous, so always use gloves. Okay. Okay, perfect. Get it tight by hand. Okay, yeah. we're ready here. So guys, what we need to do first, okay, right here, we need to disconnect if you have a hose for your secondary air pump. Okay, these two places you need to squish in. It's going to spread out on this side and we can pull it out. Okay, like that. Okay, check out how it spreads out. The teeth are right here. Now, we need a flathead screwdriver. We're going to uh, get that clamp loose now for the intake manifold. Okay, let me just install this one where it's supposed to be so I'll show you how to remove it. Okay, just a little bit more. Okay, now we can pull that hose out. Okay, like that. Right here now, guys. Okay, I'm going to grab, okay, and pull it out. There is one to holding. And we need to disconnect the MAP sensor. Okay, on underneath you have one white thing that you need to pull this way, then push in. Okay, and pull it out, okay. Red thing, not white. So you can see when it's locked in place, okay, that thing is all the way in. So we need to push it out to be able to remove it. Now, okay, let's see what else is holding that box. I think it's just a couple of rubber bushings. You grab it with your hands. Okay, let's see if we have anything on the back like that and you guys grab it okay and here we have one more hose that we need to disconnect okay one little hose and pull it up now where are the rubber bushings that i'm talking about okay looking at the box this is on the front side this is a rubber bushing this is on the back side those are the only things holding your air filter box guys in the car so with the airbox out of the way now, this is your engine mount guys right here. We'll show you what needs to be done to replace it. We'll need to get a jack, we'll need to get a wood box because we'll need to jack the engine underneath so we can support it and make sure it doesn't drop when we remove the mount. So I have the jack underneath the vehicle with a wood box. Okay, you can see we're going to support the open and I'm going to pump it just a little bit because actually the engine has some weight on the mount so I'll just go a little bit up. Uh, it's hard to tell exactly how much guys you have to kind of like feel it your way to know how much and now we'll start removing the bolts here that hold the mount to the engine motor So now guys 15 millimeter socket, okay, and okay, let me show you what we'll be removing here Okay, so we can see perfect. Okay, let's point it this way So you know where things are. Okay, first of all Okay, this nut right here. I'm going to get it loose then guys, okay, we're going to get loose these three bolts here. Okay. A few more now. Next, we have this bolt right here. Some of those are expected to I expected them to be a little bit tighter. Okay. 
Okay, what I'll do now, guys, I'm going to get uh, the little wind pipe. Okay, give me just a second. And see if we can remove them. Okay, one is out. Now, it's extremely important, guys. Okay, I'm saying that again. When you remove the third bolt, your engine might drop. So if it starts dropping, remove it slowly. You will need to, guys, adjust the jack. Okay, and lift it up a little bit more. So far good, now it's the third one that's holding. Okay, in our case we're good to go. I supported it enough so it will not drop at all. Okay, that nut now. Right here. And next, two more bolts. One here, one over there. Perfect, now, what I'll do guys, I'll remove these two bolts. Okay, just like that. And now, we can grab the engine mount. Okay, check this thing out. And just pull the whole assembly out of the way. You can see just like that. So this is guys the water pump. Okay, right here it's on the serpentine belt. So we'll need to uh, release the belt now, remove it. And we'll show you before that what needs to be done so we can, uh, we can remove the water pump as well. So we get a Torx 45, start looking bit guys. Let me show you what we'll be doing on the water pump now. Okay, we need to get these three bolts loose before we remove the belt. Why? Because the belt now, okay, is holding the pump pulley and otherwise we won't be able to get them loose. Okay, this one came loose, you can see. I'll just do them like that. Now, I'm going to, what I'm going to do, I cannot fit the two here. I raised the engine up a little bit guys, okay, with the jack, okay, you can see I lifted it up a little bit to where, okay, we can get to the bolts because otherwise I cannot fit that socket in there, so I had to raise it a little bit. Now I'm going to get the crankshaft pulley, a bolt that fits there, and I'm going to turn the engine a little bit so the third bolt can come and I can turn it. So now guys, uh, we'll remove the wheel. Okay, we need to remove the fender liner. You can see the car was in an accident on this side. Okay, ignore that. It doesn't really matter if it's in an accident or not. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and remove the wheel cover here and then we'll remove the tire quick. Okay, now we just need to remove the lug nuts quick guys. Okay, let's have somebody hold the plate to break them loose and we'll continue. Okay, so I'm ready to take the thing off because we already removed them. We got them loose. So you can see guys, it takes a little bit of work to do that. Okay, now I'll leave the wheel under the vehicle here. And let's see now if we can actually, okay, reach the crankshaft pulley from here. And we do can, and I'm going to show you what tool we need to use as well. So now underneath guys, this is the crankshaft, okay, right there, crankshaft pulley. We need reverse torque socket like this one. You can check it out in the description of the video below. Okay, and what we'll do now, I'm going to turn the engine, okay, until this bolt, guys, okay, this bolt comes to the top. So let's hold the camera. I'm going to turn the engine, okay. Always go clockwise. Okay, that, that should be enough. Now, what I'll do guys, okay, I'll get the two again and get this one tie and loose as well, excuse me. Okay, to make sure that later they'll come off. Okay, perfect, just like that. So now guys, right here, if you look, okay, there is one, okay, I'm trying to fit in there. Okay, this white bolt, okay, this is, with a 12 point socket, 
12.19 millimeter socket okay like this one here so if we go now guys okay let me show you if I go and get the socket in okay you can do that from the bottom of the car not just from the top okay let's hold it like that so you can see what's happening I mean okay I'm going to go now counterclockwise it will release the pressure of the belt and I'm going to remove it from the alternator so check this thing out now okay guys and now I can release pull the socket out okay and we can okay I thought I can remove the belt but what do we need to do now guys okay I actually need to install the socket again and I need to get it out of the I need to move the pulley a little bit the tensioner pulley okay so I can get it out okay like that and you can see the belt guys okay came out of there just like that so I'm going to jack the engine up just a little bit guys okay so it's a little bit more convenient for me okay to reach things for the water pump you can see how it went up now I'm going to go ahead and uh, get that 45 Torx 45 socket guys and uh, we're going to remove the rest of the bolts okay on the pulley and uh, why we have to remove those okay due to the fact that we have to remove the pulley okay so we can remove the pump okay this is very very inconvenient because everything is moving now okay these bolts guys they have thread locker I'm going to show you in a little bit most likely so they don't get loose from vibration so later when you put your new pump together okay you can see that blue thing this is thread locker on the bolts guys okay one is out okay this one is actually going by hand pretty easy perfect two and now we have a third one here ah, this one is tight so let me see where I left my two okay you can see this one doesn't go as easy as the other one okay this definitely is not as easy as I thought it would be and it's getting even tighter towards the end so I'm just gonna hold it like that guys to be able to grab it good and okay this is it now I'm going to go ahead remove the pulley this is the pulley this is the third ball okay let me leave everything here so I don't lose it and uh, we will guys now continue with the next step so now uh, the two that we'll be using guys is uh, reverse Torx 10 E10 okay let's uh, hold the camera now and I'm going to show you what needs to be done okay to remove that water pump now now right here these bolts okay we need to get them loose okay three bolts so far three on the bottom okay we have four and then we we'll have a fifth bolt now we have to guys use a jack stand under the engine because if the jack fails okay what's going to happen you're going to uh, that the jack if it fails the engine will fall and it will cut your fingers off okay so We'll go ahead, remove each one of them now. Okay, you can see one bolt out. We're working on the second one now and then we have uh, just three more after that. Okay, two and working on the third one now okay this one out as well 
fold and then we just have one more I think we'll see and I think that water pump will be able to come out of the housing okay and this is the fifth one okay right there oh almost like almost dropped it now guys okay that pump will be stuck okay what we will need to do okay i'm going to get a screwdriver okay and there is a place where you can pry okay right here we are going to leak some coolant guys okay but that's fine even though we drain the system okay we're still going to leak some coolant okay this is the gasket out and this is guys your water pump out of the car okay you can see just like that so that's how you guys remove the water pump installation everything is in reverse order we took it apart we'll have a video special video with the torque specs check it out uh, hopefully guys the video will be helpful check out where we get the replacement parts in the description of the video below Thank you for watching guys, please subscribe and see you guys next time.